Just a few hours ago, the truth, truce between Israel and the Hamas terrorists around Gaza was extended for a seventh day. Details yet aren't clear, but reports are that it's part of the original deal. For every 10 Jewish hostages that Hamas releases, Hamas will get 24 hours of truce and 30 Palestinian prisoners freed by Israel. Here are live pictures from Gaza. As you can see so far, no bombing or anything. It's peaceful, but Israel is adamant. As soon as Hamas stops producing more hostages, the war resumes. Hamas must be destroyed. Joining me is Jack Keane, retired four-star general, who serves as vice chief of staff of the United States Army, is now chairman of the Institute for the Study of War. General Keane, thank you so much for your time. The end of the truce, what do you expect to see well, frankly, uh, when the truth ends, I really expect to see the IDF get back into campaign operations. They, they were not completely cleared the northern Gaza area, but they had certainly did most of it. And frankly, uh, Hamas's leaders and most of their fighters have moved to the south. So our audience really has to understand, we are still, quite frankly, despite the weeks long uh, campaigns that have been conducted. We're in early stages of this campaign because the majority of the Hamas fighters are in the south and central uh, Gaza. And that's the reality of it. So much of the fighting that Israel has to do if their objective remains to dismantle Hamas is largely in front of them. And we estimate that there's somewhere be around 20,000 fighters that are left uh, there's somewhere in the neighborhood of maybe five to 7,000 uh, that have been killed. These are estimates only. Uh, Hamas doesn't reveal any of their casualties. These largely come from where they, what the IDF thinks is happening. But I, I think they're somewhat in the ballpark, but it gives you a sense. There's a lot to be done to accomplish the objective of dismantling this network in terms of its military capability and eventually it, having it no longer govern uh, Gaza. Have you got any doubt about the ultimate objective of the IDF, that it has to keep going, that it has to destroy Hamas? In my mind, that's absolutely correct. Let's just make a couple of assumptions here. Let, let's assume um, that there was a permanent ceasefire uh, in the next week or so. If that occurred, Hamas would absolutely declare victory. Why is that? Their regime is intact, their leaders are intact, most of their fighters uh, are intact, and they dealt a very lethal blow uh, to Israel in terms of the number of people they killed, how they killed them, the butchery, the savagery, and what have they accomplished? Worldwide international condemnation of Israel, much more so than anything we've seen before. Second, considerably more geopolitical uh, isolation of Israel internationally. And third, weakened the government of Israel because it displayed that it could not protect its own people. So Hamas would declare victory. The international community would largely agree with them.